much. We've had a number of questions from uh, viewers, and I'd like to read you one now. It comes from Gary Ozanwa. He's writing from the United Kingdom, and Mr. Ozanwa says, what effects, either positive and or negative, do you believe the rapid proliferation of AI will have on economic and social inequality and mobility? It's a really big question, an interesting one coming from the United Kingdom. Yeah. So I think unfettered AI and technological progress in general uh, will likely amplify inequality and amplify all the issues that we've been talking about. Uh, what we've seen historically is that as there's been technological progress, if education keeps up with that, if you're keeping people's skills up with to be able to compete with machines in essence, then inequality doesn't rise so much because uh, lots of people are able to get higher paying jobs and you have a smaller pool of people competing for jobs that no longer are in as much demand because they don't require as much skill. And so I think unfettered, if we don't do anything, AI is likely to amplify all of the disparities we've been talking about. But AI, I think, also creates tremendous potential if we harness that technology in the right way. So take, for example, what we were talking about earlier in the context of social connections and Facebook data. Uh, at the moment, the way we're using that data is just to study how people are essentially interacting offline. But you might think that there's potential with modern technology to connect folks to resources in very different ways, or maybe even use AI itself to help deliver education in ways that are complementary to what people are learning from each other. And I think by thinking carefully about how we intervene through policy and provide people support, perhaps taking advantage of this new technology, we can actually get the best of both worlds, both reaping the productivity benefits of AI without having exploding inequality.